Hmm. Well, what I can say is that I think that all religions need to open and evolve with the time. That um, one of the great challenges for religion is that we live in a world where we're very aware of lots of different ways of being. So any religion's claim on absolute truth, and that's been so fundamental to religions, has to be tempered by the fact that somebody else is claiming absolute truth and they have a slightly different absolute truth than you do. Now we can either fight wars about this or we can try to see what's happening as an evolution in truth, in a deepening of truth, and look toward a truth that embraces greater diversity and, um, and is more open to other ways of being. So that's a, that's a huge challenge for religion. And the other thing I think religions are starting to do is, is, is bring in more contemplative practices. So rather than simply being about living by certain rules, it's about meditating or um, contemplating or praying in a more open way. Because when a religion has those more contemplative practices as part of the practice, um, they're, I think they're a little bit more open to hear the truths of other people because you're, you're listening and speaking from the heart more from a, than from a set of rules. Um, and then I, I suppose the, the, the other thing I should say is that some of the, the newer trends in religion, the New Age religions and movements, which are very free and very personal and very much about sort of consumer choice in religion. You know, you can pick and choose bits of different religions now. Um, the challenge with those, that approach is that spiritual practice really needs discipline as well. You know, it's not just about um, choosing what you want. It's often about coming up against something that maybe you don't like and how do you deal with that. So it's, we need the structure of religion and we need the openness of modernity uh, and somehow we need to find a way to do both.